Hey uh, hello friends this is Sandeep and in today's video I'm going to tell you that how you can create a bootable USB to you know install Windows 11 uh, by using a pen drive or a flash drive so here we are so what we need here first we need some resources here resources such as at least you need for install Windows 11 at least you need up uh, 8 gigabytes of pen drive way which we can can make it bootable and uh, second thing we need a refuse tool to uh, that is a tool that will help us to create your uh, pen drive bootable so here it is and a third thing is that we need an ISO image for Windows 11 so that I have here so for refuse and Windows 11 ISO image if you don't have as of now you can go to the link in the description below and you can download it from there so then after once you downloaded that ISO image just extract it so I'm just gonna right click on it and uh, I will extract it here in this place on that de desktop only it will take few moments I will be just using you know fast forward option on this video uh, to make this video as short as I can because uh, creating a bootable USB it might take at least 10 to 15 minutes of time uh, to you know done this process so I'll just use the fast forward on this video where it is possible All right, so here you can see uh, the US Windows 11 ISO has been extracted here. So here is the file that we need here, that is in this folder here. This is the one. All right, so I'm just going to close it out now. So the now you need to just open up the refuse tool. So double click on the refuse and uh, allow the permission if it asks, like yes. Here it is. So now you can see the first thing here it says device properties so this it needs a device device uh, wherein we can install like your pen drive or flash drive so I'm just gonna insert the flash drive to my device on my laptop so just wait it's plugged in now all right you can see here it came up here so no labels as of now it's 8 gigabyte of pen drive and here we need here disk the ISO image so just click on the select button and uh, provide the path of the ISO image where it, wherever it is so I have extracted on my desktop so I'll just open this and uh, this is the one we need to select and click open here it is alright now it says Windows image installation image option would be Windows to go and I will just take the Windows standard Windows installation here now it comes with the G partition scheme so uh, we have two different partitions MBR and GPT so you can select depending on your system partition time so I'll just select the MBR and it will auto pick up the target system and this is the volume label if you want you can rename it like you can type Windows 11 but I'll just keep it as it is and the file system type is NTF NTFS automatically so nothing else no need to change anything else so now we are ready so just click on the start button and it will start processing and it says warning all the data on device will be erased or destroyed okay so that is belongs to your pen drive if you have something on your pen drive so make sure you have taken the back data backup backup of that before you start this installation otherwise it will be removed so I'll just click OK because it's empty for me all right it's formatting so now you can see it start copying ISO files into the pen drive or in your flash drive now this process will take around five to seven minutes 
So you have to just sit back and just watch this process is going on and at the, at the end it will give you the ready option. So I'm just using PC Guide for you is here to help you with your issues. For more updates, subscribe now. Alright, the task is 99% completed so far. So it, it, it will be done at any moment. So we'll just wait 99.4. Ninety nine point nine and finalizing. All right, it says it's ready now. So, uh, the creating task for US USB boot table is completed successfully. So, you can close this now. And once you close it, just to check here, go to the my computer or this PC if you're using Windows 10, and you will see here your drive this one. It is created. This is the boot table one that we have made. And now, just you need to use this a pen drive. You can eject and try to install by using the first boot device as a pen drive, and it will be a work for your Windows 11 installation.